Sometimes in ProPresenter 7, I find that I have multiple videos that need to be played back one after the other. This would normally be done manually by the operator with a single click on the first video, then wait till that video ends and then click on the second video. This can lead to error, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make this happen automatically. Hi everyone, my name is Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs and as I seek to serve and train church teams, one of the reasons I create ProPresenter 7 content on my channel is because it stands out in the church production world due to its many great features. One of those features is the simple but effective Go to Next Timer. In my video creating a quick and simple slideshow, we use the Go to Next Timer to advance from one slide to the next. Usually this is going to be used to loop through announcements or other images. Today we're going to be using it to advance to the next video. The biggest thing we need to understand here is the difference between foreground and background. When we import our videos into the ProPresenter 7 Media Bin, they're going to automatically become background videos. So I have these two videos here and I'm gonna drag them into my presentation item and now they're both going to be on their own slides. So now I'm gonna add the go to next timer, I'll highlight both of them, right click and I'll go click go to next timer and then specify the amount of time. So with the videos set to background, the time we set will determine how long the video plays before advancing to the next slide. So because these videos are different lengths, we can't do this with both selected since each has to have a unique time set. So this first video is a minute and 30 seconds. If I set the go to next timer to 90 seconds, it will play all the way through and advance to the next slide. Once the 90 seconds is over, that is. If I want it to wait five seconds to advance to the next slide after the video is over, then I can set it to 95 seconds, which will include the 90 second video plus the five seconds of black between the two videos. Okay, so that option is better than having to click on the next video, but as you can tell, it requires some math that can easily, like easily be messed up, resulting in extra time at the end of the video, or even worse, the video not playing the full duration. So let's look at an other option that does the same thing in a different way. In the media bin, right click on the videos and we're gonna to go to behavior and change background to foreground. So remember that nothing in ProPresenter changes until something changes it. So the media in the presentation will not be updated automatically when the changes are made in the media bin. So go ahead and delete the old videos and now I'm gonna drag these new videos up into the presentation. Now that both clips have been changed from background to foreground, right click and again apply the go to next timer. But now the videos are foreground which changes the behavior of the go to next timer. Now when we set a number we are determining how long after the video stops playing before it would advance to the next slide. It doesn't matter the length of the video. So instead of having to do math to figure out that a, this, well let's see here. This three minute and 23 second video is 113 seconds, then add our five seconds, and oh by the way, it's, 100, it's three minutes, 23 seconds, and 03 milliseconds. <laughs> then we have to add our five seconds, it's crazy. Now we can just type five seconds into the go to next timer. Also know that a value of zero seconds will make the transition happen immediately. Additionally, you can now apply the go to next timer to multiple video slides at once because you're setting the time based on how long the slide's going to remain on the screen before it transitions, not based on how long do I want it to play before it transitions. Thank you for watching this video. If you're looking for ProPresenter 7 training or consulting on any other production training, both online or in person, check out my website at crazyamazingdesigns.com. See you next time.